What's your name again? My name's Jim. I'm Sean. I'm gonna test drive your motorcycle. Sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> So, so Jim, I, I, I was pulling out in the slingshot, Jim was coming in, I saw him riding in the Indian Scout, and then um, he's here, and he's like, yeah, I watch all your videos and stuff, and I'm like, sick, and then I was like, can I ride your bike, can I test drive your bike, and he's like, cool, I've never ridden a Scout, there it is, Ford Escape, no, there it is. Indian Scout. Oh, it's got gloves on. It's got one glove. I'm going to wear that one glove. I'm going to rock that Michael Jackson style. If I know anything about anything, victory keys go in this spot too. <clears throat> so I'm going to put on this one glove. This is a cool glove. This is actually a Victor, an Indian motorcycle glove. I love this glove. I like this. Yeah, no joke. I've never ridden a Scout. I thought they were cool looking. I was pretty pumped when the Octane came out also. The coolest thing about it was they were just so cheap. It was such a, such a great price. And this is not the Scout 60. Alright! This thing's awesome! Hey Tim. My goal anytime I'm doing a test drive on someone else's bike is probably whatever, it's what your goal should be. It's don't wreck the bike but you can have two goals you're like don't ride the bike but don't don't not have fun so you know if you got if you want to try to do a stand-up wheelie you try it but you don't wreck it I love that color that like satin just trying to get a good look at it I like this bike this thing's cool I like them fat bars I like the grips but the power, brakes feel nice and responsive, clutch feels really, really light. This is a fun bike. This feels very, okay, if, if there is a metric equivalent to this bike, it would have to be, and this is almost a no-brainer to me, like ergonomics, everything, it just feels very similar. It would have to be the Ninja, no, the Kawasaki Vulcan 650S. It just, the bars feel like, I mean, this is definitely cooler looking, absolutely, no doubt about it. Cooler looking, and it's a different power curve, you know, it's definitely a lot, you know, a lot torquier. Most likely it's faster, but that, that little that little Vulcan, which is very impressive, like that was... This of course has a better sound to it, but I'll tell you what, I want to get off the bike and just look at it again. <laughs> That's so awesome looking. So the big fat front tire, the Indian pipes, I love that seat. I like how Indian, they're rocking these cool colors, but they rock that, that leather like cowhide seat. It's just so classic looking. Blacked out lowers from the factory. It's a, it's a simple design. It's not a huge bike, but it's not small. He was saying that since he bought it. You know that you see a lot of like on the brochures, like women are riding this and stuff like that. It's not really, it's not a woman's bike. 
I would much rather I would ride this bike over a um, over a sports or 1200 I, I have a bad I mean I, I do I like the I like the 48 but I kind of just have that like that taste in my mouth about sportsters like a lot of guys do that it's a sportster and they're like yeah it's a sportster just a little sportster I don't get that with this bike I get it it's just more of a it's more of a sportier bike maybe that's how I should feel about the sportsters but I don't they haven't been ruined the perception of the of the chief no the scout I mean, Scout's got a classic, a real classic history, you know. I love, I love these gloves. I'm, like, I'm, a, I'm stealing this glove. Don't tell anybody. Maybe you won't notice. When I walk in with that one glove. I think the, um, I think the build quality on the Indians are amazing. I think they're great. They have a good warranty on them. They don't have as many dealerships backing them up, but if you, but if you bought one, you're probably not that far away from a dealership, so who cares, you know? I like this. I'm pretty impressed, and they are, they are, they're cheap. I'm not selling this one, guys. Don't, so don't be calling me up and trying to buy it off me. Uh, every once in a while, I, I just, I, I ask somebody if I can test drive their bike because I haven't ridden it, and I can make a video with it, and. Uh, this is sweet. It pulls. I love the sound. I feel like I'm in a poster. Guy with a goofy looking helmet. One handed glove. Rocking his bikes and beard shirt. Riding a sweet Indian. This is who they had in mind when they designed this bike. Some goofy looking fella like me. Um, I'm 6'2", and I feel great on this bike. I don't feel small or cramped or anything. I'm very impressed. All right, guys. That wraps it up. Here's the owner. Where's the owner? No, he left. No, he didn't leave him on his bike. He's somewhere. I'll pull the bike around front, I guess. Yeah, I'll pull it around front. All right, guys. That wraps it up. I'm Sean from SRK Cycles, and I am riding people's motorcycles, and I don't own them sometimes. So, love this bike. Feel free to stop in and let me do a test drive of your bike anytime I'm, over, I'm around. Remember, it's not what you're riding. It's where you're going. See you guys later. What's up? It's Lindsay from SRK Cycles. Click here to subscribe to our awesome channel. Click here to subscribe to our slightly more awesome channel. And click here if you want the chance to get your bike.